Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Nick D here. And today, we're gonna be transforming this ugly, disgusting, cluttered up setup into a clean, aesthetic, and minimalistic setup. So, let's get started. So first off, let's take a look at the actual desktop itself. And as you can see, the desktop is a cluttered up mess. So to fix that, you can right click anywhere on the desktop, hold on view, and uncheck show desktop icons. Or you can reduce the icon size by pressing the control key on your keyboard and using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Yeah, that would be good. And now you just want to press the control shift and end keys on the keyboard and copy the special character between the quotation marks in the description box below by pressing control plus C and pasting it onto here by pressing control plus V on your keyboard. Now I just want to press the enter key. And as you can see, we've got a blank folder. Or if you want to go a bit further, you could even change the actual icon of the blank folder by right clicking it, going into properties, and hitting the customize tab, hitting change icon, scroll and find your desired icon, click the icon, and hit OK on both of the windows. And as you can see, we've got this cool transparent arrow on this little blank folder. And now we just want to select all the stuff that is already on the desktop except recycle bin you just want to press the control key on your keyboard and click the recycle bin and now you just freely drag and drop every single file into this little folder and now to take off the recycle bin shortcut you just want to click anywhere on the desktop go into personalize and going into teams scroll down and find desktop icon settings now here un uncheck recycle bin and hit ok and now as you can see the recycle bin is no longer in the desktop and now we can just put the icon over there and bam, now we got a clean and minimalistic looking desktop. So now let's jump right into the taskbar. So first, we have to get rid of the icon to the taskbar. So to unpin a unwanted icon from the taskbar, you just want to right click it and hit unpin from taskbar. Now repeat this process for all the icons which you think is unnecessary. And now you just want to remove the search bar, user interests, and these unnecessary icons. So first, to remove these unnecessary icons, Right click on the taskbar and uncheck show task view button and uncheck show Cortana button. And now to remove the search bar, right click on the taskbar again, but this time hold on search and hit hidden. And now to remove the news and interest tab, right click on the taskbar, hold on news and interests and hit turn off. And now finally we have to get rid of these icons. So to hide a unwanted icon, you just want to drag it, put it on the left side and drag it into this hidden icons folder. And as you can see, we've got this less cluttered up taskbar. But if you want to make it much more minimalistic, I highly recommend downloading an app called Taskbar X. Now to download Taskbar X, hit the link in the description box below and you should be in this website. Now here you just want to hit the latest version and download the version that matches with your system architecture. So my PC is running on x64, so I'll click on x64 now you just want to hit this little button and it's shown folder and now you just want to right click the downloaded dot zip file and hit extract all now you just want to hit extract in this window and we just want to wait now as you can see we have a new extracted folder and, and now you just want to move this folder into the program files folder in your system drive so you just want to go into c program files now you can just drag and drop this folder onto this folder Hit continue, and as you can see, the file is copied. Now you just want to go into the folder. Now you just want to scroll down and find and run the task for X executable. You just want to double click that, and we're getting the screen because this app is not approved by Microsoft, but it is actually open source, so it is actually pretty secure. But anyway, we just want to hit more info and hit run anyway. Now, as you can see, the icons are centered which gives the taskbar an aesthetic look. Now, if you want to customize the taskbar even more, you can run this executable called taskbarxconfigurator.exe. Same here, more info, run anyway. And as you can see, there's a lot of settings, but I will not be going through all these settings, and I'll just be going through some really important settings. So first is the transparency effect settings. So here you could customize how the taskbar looks. So first we got the default Windows 10 effect, 
and below that we've got the transparent effect which I don't prefer as it would make the task bar almost invisible. Next we have transparent with the gradient and we have opaque and my favorite one blur. And also we have the acrylic mode which will enable a transparent slash blurred effect but it can flicker though. Next we have the animation style and this is basically when Taskbar X is booting up, it's gonna center your taskbar with an animation and you can customize the animation if you want. And next we have the position settings which is not that necessary. And next we have the startup settings. And they probably like to set the delay to 0 seconds and that's basically it for startup. And all these settings below is basically unnecessary. What? What? So once you've customized your settings, you just want to hit apply and that's basically it. And now the taskbar is good, but we want to customize the start menu. So we just want to basically unpin the styles from the start menu. So you could do that by right clicking on a tile that you want to remove and hitting unframe to start. It's also repeat the same process to all these other icons over here. And now I just want to resize the start menu to look like this. And as you can see, we've got a less cluttered up start menu. And now that's basically it. And if you're okay with the setup, that's totally fine. You could continue using your PC. But if you want to make your taskbar look even more minimalistic, you could download an app called Rainmeter. So I already have a dedicated video on my channel for Rainmeter. So if you want to learn more, I'll put the link in the i button and in the description box below. But anyway, to download Rainmeter, Hit the link in the description box below and you should be in this website. Now here you just want to hit this little download button and we just want to wait for it to download. Now you can just hit this little drop up menu. Yeah whatever I don't know how to call it but you just want to hit this little button and hit shown folder. Are you f- Anyway you just want to hit this little button. And hit shown folder now we just have to right click the exe file and hit run as administrator now we just want to hit yes in the user account control prompt and we just want to hit ok and install the program and as you can see we have successfully installed rainmeter and yeah 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 i know i know the default theme doesn't look that good but fortunately though just because rainmeter isn't fully free and open source program it lets third-party developers design third-party skins for Rainmeter pretty easily. So the thir one third-party Rainmeter skin that I prefer for a minimalistic look is Mont. And also, if you want a wide variety of options of skins to choose from, I highly recommend visiting the Top 50 Rainmeter Skins blog by TechGeo. Link in the description. But anyway, to download Mont, hit the link in the description box below, and you should be on this website. Now here, we just want to scroll down and hit the download button. Just gonna close this ad. Now again, we just wanna hit this little button and it's shown folder. And now we just wanna right click the downloaded .rm skin file and hit install Rainmeter skin. Now here, we just wanna hit install. Now as you can see, the widgets are loaded up and there's also a settings window over here which is like a hub to customize all these widgets without right clicking and customizing. And again, if you want to see how you can customize more, link in the description. So I'm just going to be basically customizing the settings to my liking. And as you can see, I've successfully organized the widgets. And now the last and final thing to do is to find a clean and minimalistic wallpaper and apply it. So to find a clean and minimalistic wallpaper, you just want to open up your favorite browser, of course. And we just want to type in... Clean. Minimalistic. Oh, yeah. Uh whatever now we just want to type in clean minimalistic and aesthetic wallpapers dark of course so let's find a dark clean and minimalistic wallpaper so I've successfully found a clean and minimalistic wallpaper so you just want to click on the image right click on the image save image as save and now as you can see we have successfully downloaded the image so you just want to hit this little button Go, and go to show and folder and we just want to basically move this file into a safer location like in your system drive i'm gonna put in the c drive continue and now as you can see our wallpaper is nice and secure 
Now I'm just gonna re rename the wallpaper to continue. Come on. And now I just wanna right click the image and hit set as desktop background. And now as you can see, we got the clean and minimalistic look. Sorry guys, that's how we go from the super cluttered up, grinchy setup into this nice, clean, minimalistic, and aesthetic look that makes you fall in love with your setup. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I just want you to hit that like and subscribe buttons for more like this, and set that post notifications to all so you'll never miss out on any single piece of content that I upload. And also smash a comment down below if you have any queries or any ideas for my future upcoming videos, and thanks for watching. And wait a minute, happy new year 2022 everyone, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video, goodbye!